In this video, we'll show you how to use a pivot table to analyze your scenario modeling project. On the screen is an example scenario modeling results spreadsheet. We'll explore it here. The first thing to do is to select all of the data. I do that by using the shortcut keys, control, shift, and arrow keys. You can also shift click to select the data range. Next, go to insert and select pivot table. Press OK to add the pivot table to a new tab. This will create a new pivot table. On the right hand side of the screen, all of the columns of your data set are listed. You can place those in one of the four sections of the pivot table, a row, a column, a value, or a filter. We'll use rows and values. Select the scenario ID. It will automatically go to the row section. Then select the HERS index and HERS index change and place them in the value section. Update the summary calculation to average instead of sum to make a logical summary. Now you can see the average HERS index change for each scenario. Explore your other results by adding more values or more rows to have a nuanced data table.